Hello and welcome to another video with me, John. Today I'm doing, doing another, another ramen review. And today's ramen will again be coming from the company of Paldo. That is a South Korean ramen uh, creator. Uh, they probably make other products other than ramen, but uh, that's all I know them for. Anyway, today's ramen is, is called Namja Ramen. And it has a fiery garlic taste so it should be very garlicky very spicy not sure if namja means spice or garlic or what but that's the name of the ramen so this is another soup based ramen you see there's plenty of liquid in there 500 milliliters is what it says on the instructions that's what I used so Boiled the water with the soup packet and the vegetables in the on the pot for a few minutes until the noodles are soft. Put it in the bowl. And now we're gonna taste it. See how it tastes. One thing I'm kind of interested in is you can see that's like a whole slice of garlic. And there's a couple of these inside the ramen. So that makes me think that this is gonna have a very strong garlicky flavor to it and I hope that is true if I bought this seeing on thing that said fiery garlic I will expect it to be garlicky anyway let's get some noodles together and slurp them up Okay, definitely uh, got some tingle on the top of the tongue where the noodles hit me. We're going for a slurp of this broth. Not as garlicky as I was hoping for. Uh, according to the ingredients, the main flavors in the soup base are beef flavor powder, soybean sauce, beef soup stock, red pepper powder, garlic extract powder, black pepper powder, sugar, chicken soup, chicken soup stock, yeast extract, extract powder, blah blah blah, ginger powder, vegetable flavor oil, artificial pork flavor oil garlic flavor oil and paprika so it actually has beef flavor powder and beef stock powder beef soup stock so there's beef flavor powder beef soup stock chicken soup stock and garlic I mean pork flavored oil so three different types of meat flavorings are in here. And then it also has garlic extract and garlic oil. I'm really mostly tasting like the umami, the meat flavors of this. And especially, I th I'm thinking I'm picking up a lot of beef flavor. Let me see if I find one of these I lost it when I mixed it. I'm going to find one of these garlic little slices and I'm going to just taste that straight up. Wow. That's disappointing. You would think if you ate the straight up piece of garlic, you at least that would get you an intense garlic flavor. You'd be mistaken with this one. So, for saying on the label, fiery garlic taste really doesn't live up to that garlicky 
label. Um, <clears throat> the spice in it is fine. It's not overly spicy. I wouldn't call it fiery even. It's spicy. It'd be lying to say it wasn't spicy or that it didn't have any kind of spice in it. There's some tingle in your mouth. It's not uh, not any blow you away type of spice, but you're gonna notice it there. The beefy flavor is fine, but if you bought this thinking I want a really intense garlicky flavor, that's not what you're gonna get with the Namja ramen from Paldo. Let me know if you guys have tasted any like really intense garlicky flavored uh, ramen or just like a soup broth or a noodle dish that's really garlicky. I think if I were to make this again, I would actually take some garlic and cook it up and put that in with it. Uh, I wouldn't add any more, I wouldn't add garlic salt because it's already 911 milligrams. Not joking. The sodium actually reads 911. So you have an emergency situation of sodium already. That being said, I would not add any more salt. But a fresh garlic or saute some garlic, or if you have garlic powder that's not garlic salt. Yeah. I don't taste garlic really at all. And when I bit into the garlic piece, when I chewed it up real nice, mushed it together in my mouth, I could probably tell that what I was eating was a piece of garlic, but still lacking of the garlic flavor. That being said, the flavor is fine. If you like spicier beef flavored ramens, this is good. If you were looking for a spicy garlic, this is not it. I'm sorry. Spice-wise, it's probably a six and a half to seven out of ten. Spice-wise, flavor-wise, it's a seven out of ten. But it gets like a three for disappointing out of ten for garlickiness. Overall, the ramen is fine. So I can't give it too low of a score, because I would definitely eat it again if, if I'm hungry. But uh, it's just disappointing for the ramen factor, for the garlic factor. That being said, I'm going to round this out and give it a 6 out of 10. That is the Namja Ramen from Paldo. Hope you enjoy this video. As you can see right here, I have... My next video ready and waiting to go. Another beer review. And I'll see you guys on that uh, video next time. Until then, guys, bye.